back to another Bubbles and Bees Poshmark video. This one, we're gonna cover the second half of the list that Poshmark offers for those three tags that you can use to basically highlight or in order to describe your items. So the first video is already up. That covers letters A through K. And then this one is gonna cover L through Y, which is the rest of them with an honorable mention right at the top of the list too. And so let's jump straight into it. Special shout out to best friend Carrie. I just got back from being at her place and it's beautiful and I miss her so much cause she did move, but you know, she is one badass chick. So love you so much and I can't wait to see you again. Lace. And I've tried to like give it enough space so y'all can see stuff because the other time it was just a little cringy. All right, lace is a delicate fabric made from yarn or thread in a web-like pattern characterized by open designs and patterns created through a variety of different methods. Lace fabric was originally made from silk and linen, but today cotton thread and synthetic fibers are both used. So um, like the last time, a lot of these are gonna be kind of given or understood, but we like to be so this one is very versatile so you can use it for a lot of things so you just gotta kind of you know tell you with a grain of salt when you want to throw it in there lagging look <laughs> this is not on the list that Poshmark gives you but it is a very popular thing that people do look for lagging look means a layered look this style involves layers and layers of unconventionally shaped clothing worn on top of the other to create a one-of-a-kind statement. To really nail the lagging look style, try adding another layer by putting on a vest or a long sleeve top underneath your, your top or tunic to add another dimension to the ensemble. This gives you the opportunity to add a pop of color or opt for a neutral tone that ties the look together. So like those high low hems, super long shirts, the tunics, things you can layer with, um, those um, shackets, you know, they can be worn as a shirt or a jacket, but you know, you're layering. So <laughs> like I said, with a grain of salt, because there's a lot that can be happening with lagging look. So there we go. Leather is a natural fabric made using tanned animal skin, believed to be the first fabric created with human hands whether it's top grain split or reconstituted i have no clue what the dif no clue what the difference of those three are so you gotta google that yourself because <laughs> i damn sure don't know uh any leather derived from an animal hide is genuine leather genuine leather varies widely in terms of quality and durability so any animal we got guinea pig leather mm, interesting Lightweight is a fabric that is considered to be a chiffon, organza, linen, mesh, lace, silk, cotton, felt, and neoprene. N-E-O-P-R-E-N-E. -E. Hmm. Weighing little and therefore not warm, a lightweight jacket or while a medium weight fabrics like velvet, nylon, and all that stuff. Other fabrics like denim and canvas and suede and stuff, they're considered heavyweight. So something that's just very, 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 very light. Lightweight. Say the name. Say the name. Luxury. Luxury items are made of high grade material, so they last longer than the copies they inspire. Luxury items go beyond the idea of being expensive. In the present time, you'll describe luxury items as highly desirable pieces due to their quality and exclusivity. Luxury fashion and lifestyle designers specialize in the luxury good markets of garments, textiles, accessories, and interior products. So maximalism this bold aesthetic dubbed clutter core involves intentional layering pattern mixing and creative hair and makeup maximalism is the opposite of minimalism bright colors bold prints mixing and matching and a more is more approach a style that expresses extravagance and spectacle maximalist fashion features um, just oversized accessories, intricate details, and eye-catching designs. So definitely have fun with that one. That's that's one you can really, really, really have some fun with. I would like to, I think that's something, can you, can Miss Frizz be considered a maximalist? Because I liked her outfits. Y'all ever watched The Magic School Bus? Miss Frizz had it going on. Or like, or like, 
no Fran, Fran, Fran's stuff was was cute. It was put together. It wasn't too too loud. But it, I think her personality just made it seem more outward. All right, y'all need to focus. <laughs> we got words to get through, okay? Metallic, silver, gold, and maybe even bronze probably come to mind. But there's more to this trend than metals. Anything with a gleam can be counted in this category. Pieces offering an iridescent effect. Metallic fibers are manufactured fibers composed of metal, metallic alloys, plastic coated uh, metal, metal coated plastic, or a core completely covered by metal. So what's the difference between plastic coated metal and metal co oh. <laughs> Minimalist <laughs> is characterized by simplicity clean lines, and a monochromatic palette with color used as an accent. Having a minimalist wardrobe doesn't mean just having a small number of clothes. It's about picking items you really like and use often. Okay, minimalist style is popular because it offers a clean, uncluttered, and soothing environment. It also provides a sense of order and simplicity. Monogram, a design consisting of two or more alphabetic letters combined or interlaced commonly one's initials often printed on stationery embroidered on clothing etc monograms are often sorry I had to sneeze made by combining the initials of an individual or a company used as a recognizable symbol or logos next we have neon i love neon <laughs> These bright, eye-catching shades are a bold choice that attract attention and make your outfit stand out. From bright yellow to striking shades of green and pink, fluorescent or neon colors are extremely bright versions of primary and secondary colors such as blue, red, green, yellow, purple. Uh, fluorescent colors stand apart from other types of colors due to the fact that they emit light, making them luminescent. So I think it's pretty easy when we can spot some neon, right? Does that take you back to like your roller rink days? <laughs> uh, neutral, neutral colors for clothes are typically colors that include white, cream, beige, gray, brown, navy, and black. However, one could also argue that a very toned down or muted color can also work as a neutral. Think blush pinks or super faded greens like sage green or soft blues, muted shades that appear to lack color but often have underlying hues that change with different lighting. Office, <laughs> depending on the company, office casual attire may include your everyday clothes such as jeans and a t-shirt or they may closely resemble business casual such as dress pants and a nice shirt. Shirt. Business casual is the most common dress code in American workplaces and it can vary based on each workplace. Men typically wear dress pants or khaki pants with a collar or button up shirts and they may also wear a sweater over the shirt. Women can wear business separates and blouses or shirts and skirts and all that good jazz. So, oversized, a term used for the roomiest possible fit one that doesn't have any body definition at all. It brings to mind like slouch or volume and less structure. An oversized fit is the most fashion forward and edgy fit. The garment is intentionally designed to have a looser and larger fit than standard sizing. So, Paisley. This one, I, I yo, once I got on Poshmark, I figured out that this print was called Paisley. Had no clue. Paisley, a distinctive, intricate pattern of curved feather shaped figures based on an Indian pine cone design. Paisley or Paisley pattern is a teardrop shaped motif with a curved upper end. Y'all, I just call this like a bandana pattern. <laughs> Cause that's really like growing up, that's the, the first recollection I ever had of it was that like, so swirly type of things being on like bandanas. So whenever I'd be like, oh yeah, you know, it looks like the bandana pattern and like people would understand what I was saying. So it's called Paisley. <laughs> it's called Paisley. Back on track. Party, dress slacks, sports jacket, blazer, open collar shirt, collar shirt and tie, um, a collared golf shirt and a jacket blazer may also be appropriate depending on the location of the event. Street length dresses, skirt and a nice top or dressy pants outfit are great for the ladies or a woman's dress that is too elegant, revealing dressy or impractical for normal wear. So party's one of those ones you have to take with a grain of salt because 
it just it really it depends that's party can cross cultural norms it can cross regional norms you know different types of celebration type things so you know if it's not something you will wear on a typical day-to-day and it's event specific i would kind of throw that into party you know with good judgment uh patchwork is a technique of sewing small pieces of shaped fabrics of mixed patterns colors and texture all together to create larger geometric designs traditionally this was a form of needlework used to create a patchwork quilt but it is now a popular technique in clothing designs and interiors also known as pieced work like p-i-e-c-e-d work pieced work plaid plaid features stripes or bands of color that intersect to form squares pre-dyed threads in a variety of colors crisscross each other in a series of grids mixing into new colors when they warp and weft intersect oh when the warp and weft intersect plaid dates back to the fifth time speaking of time 1500s and now come into many patterns from argyle and gingham to some other two ones i don't know <laughs> i'm not even gonna try to mispronounce that because i mispronounced avon whatever that other word was in the other video Woo, dragged through the mud i was like y'all i'm already brown you can't drag me through no more mud anyways okay pleated a basic pleat is when the fabric is folded back on itself thereby creating an accordion like appearance however pleats come in many shapes and sizes some are evenly folded throughout while others are all different sizes some pleats are ironed and pressed while others are more fluid from different folds uh, fluid different from folds folds are formed by uniformly gathering a fabric along a seam or a hemline uh, fleets are formed by doubling fabric back on itself and securing it in place so pleats <laughs> preppy 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 characteristics of or denoting a fashion style of neat understated and often expensive clothes young but classic suggesting that the wearer is well off upper class and conservative preppy fashion through uh, though classic is constantly evolving whether it's the rugby shirts and denim of the 50s the button downs and blazers of the 80s or 90s pleats and slacks <clears throat> excuse me this aesthetic exudes an undeniable level of cool while also being fun to style according to bark an online monitoring company that tracks teenage slang because apparently there's a company for that preppy is quote used to refer to a particular aesthetic that involves girly bright colored clothes and popular name brands such as lululemon and stanley so that's your modern day preppy, I guess. Doo -doo -doo. Punk. <laughs> Many punks wear tight drain pipe jeans, plaid, tartan trousers, kilts or skirts, t-shirts, leather jackets, often decorated with painted band logos, pins and buttons and metal studs, chains or spikes, and footwear such as high cut Chuck Taylors, trainers, skate shoes, brothel creeper. What the hell is a brothel creeper? studded <laughs> accessories and lots of leather and black clothing punk fashion was originally an expression of nonconformity as well as oppression to both mainstream culture and the status quo punk fashion often displays aggression rebellion and individualism some some punks wear accessories clothing or have tattoos that express socio-political messages and punk uh can also kind of mesh a little bit with goth sometimes so sometimes you can use those two in the same listing just depends on the item but just keep that in mind um doo -doo 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 -doo. quilted by definition quilted textiles are made when you stitch several layers of fabric together you might also use patchwork techniques when quilting which involves stitching different colors textures or shapes together to create a unique textile Quilting is the term given to the process of joining a minimum of three layers of fabric, either through stitching, manually using a needle and thread, or mechanically with a sewing machine or a specialized long arm, long arm quilting system. Relax fit. Relaxed refers to a fit that's looser than regular, but not baggy. 
Relaxed fit jeans are wider in the seat and thigh, and they feature a longer rise than regular jeans have. So relaxed fit and oversized, I think it was, be careful when you're using those two because they may not be interchangeable depending on the item, okay? So next we have retro, a style that is a derivative or imitative of trends, modes, fashions, or attitudes of the recent past. It generally implies a vintage of at least 15 or 20 years. For example, clothing from the 1980s or 1990s could be retro, relating to, revol reviving, or being styles and especially the fashions of the past, fashionably nostalgic, or just something that's old fashioned. Satin. <laughs> the satin weave creates a fabric that is shiny and soft and elastic with a beautiful drape. Satin fabric is characterized by a soft, lustrous surface on one side with a duller surface on the other side. Um, satin is not silk. <laughs> it says that big bold letters. As a natural fiber, silk is typically more breathable than satin, which is uh, made with synthetic material. Both silk and satin have their background in China, but silk is far harder to produce, which makes silk more expensive, okay? So satin, if it's super shiny on one side, a little bit duller on the other side, satin. Oh, this one, y'all. This one right here. Sequins, right? Small, shiny discs that are sewn onto clothes to decorate them. Sequin fabric is a type of fabric covered with plastic or metal shaped pieces. It is also commonly referred to as sequins fabric, though the only correct term is sequin. Sequins vary in size, shape, and color. They can be glossy or matte or reversible or one-sided. No shit, like, for the longest time, y'all, I thought this was called sequins. But, <laughs> like, the word sequence refers to, like, an order of events or the order of something. Like, the sequence of a movie is, like, the order in which the plot happens. Or, like, the sequence of numbers is, like, one, two, three, four, five. Sequin. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? <laughs> it's kind of like those people who miss up who mix up Pacific and specific because the words are just so close together but the meanings could not be further apart. Hucha. Sheer. A sheer fabric is a thin cloth which is semi-transparent used in tight stockings, body stockings, dancewear, lingerie, lingerie y'all. <laughs> it can also be used in tops, pants, skirts, dresses, and gowns. Sheer fabric is any type of fabric that is see-through or transparent. Unlike opaque materials, sheer cloth does not hide your body from view. It offers little protection against cold, which makes an extremely popular choice for women, women's summer clothing, underwear, and lingerie. Silk! The strongest natural protein fiber silk is a shimmering textile known for its satin texture and famous for being a luxurious fabric. The most common silk is produced from silk worms, <laughs> small creatures which mostly live on mulberry leaves while other insects also produce silk-like substances. Most of the world's silk is derived from uh, bomb Bombyx, B-O-M-B-Y-X, mori larvae, which are worms that only live in mulberry trees. Unlike traditional silk production, which involves Boiling silkworms alive within their cocoons to obtain the silk fibers, peace silk, P-E-A-C-E, -E, is made by allowing the silkworms to complete their metamorphosis into moths before harvesting their cocoons. Stocking stuffers, a small, usually inexpensive gift that is placed with others, usually within a Christmas stocking. A strapless, a strapless dress or top is a garment that stays put around the upper body without shoulder straps or other visible means of support. I've actually been looking for a like push-up strapless bra. So if you guys know of a, a bra that you would recommend, LMK, let me know. Cause I'm looking, I need it for an event. Streetwear, 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 gotta scroll down. Streetwear is a casual fashion style that became popular in the 1990s. It includes comfortable yet trendy clothing such as graphic tees, hoodies, 
sweatpants, and sneakers. Streetwear brands are inspired by both hip hop culture, surfer, and skater style. So that one's pretty right on the nose. Suede, a type of leather with a fuzzy napped finish. A type of leather made from the underside of the animal skin, giving it a soft surface. Suede is usually made from lamb skin, but is also made of other types of animals, including goats, pigs, calves, and deer. Suede is softer, thinner, and not as strong as full grain traditional leather, commonly used for jackets, shoes, fabrics, purses, furniture, and other items. Tie-dye. I love, see, tie-dye just takes me back to like my summer camp days. I was a camp counselor, y'all. <laughs> That's the worst. Um, <laughs> Tie dye is a term used to describe a number of dyeing techniques and the result dyed, the resulting dyed products of these processes. The process of tie dyeing typically consists of folding, twisting, pleating, or crumpling a fabric or a garment before binding it with string or rubber bands, followed by the application of a dye or dyes. So, if you've never got the opportunity to like tie dye a T-shirt, go to like your local um, superstore and get like that little ten dollar dye tech um, kit. That shit is fun. <laughs> just, just get crazy. Just be blindfolded. Spin yourself around ten times, and then like, you might die your floor. Don't do that. <laughs> we grow, right? We spin around ten times. We in the hospital for three days. Uh, travel. Travel clothing, when referring to extensive foreign travel, takes on two categories, what to wear on the voyage and what to pack for the rest of the trip. Travel fabrics, nylon, polyester. Uh, many people shy away from these fabrics, but nylon and polyester work well for travel clothing. Other than being wrinkle free, they're both quick drying fabrics. So if you have a hand to, if you have to hand wash your clothes while traveling, they will be pretty dry when it's time to pack or wear the next morning. Tweed. Tweed. I think I was sh struggling with this a few videos ago. I was like, is this tweed? I think it was tweed. Now I gotta look, think about it. Tweed is a rough wool fabric of a soft, open, flexible texture <laughs> resembling chiffon or homespun, but more closely woven. It is usually woven with a plain weave, twill, or herringbone structure. We learned herringbone last time, remember guys? Color effects in the yarn may be obtained by mixing dyed wool before it is spun. The type of sheep from which the wool is derived, the quality of the weave, and the overall popularity of the material itself are all factors in the price of tweed fabric. Tweed stands out as one of the most sustainable and hardy fabrics. Our next one is very simple and easy to spot. Two-tone. Clothes or shoes that are two-tone or two different colors or are a lighter and a darker of the same color. And honestly, they can be differentiating colors. And when you use two-tone, I feel like you can also throw, um, what's the other word? Color block in there. So I think you can kind of partner those up sometime depending on the item that you're listing. Our next one is unisex. Unisex clothing is best described as clothing designed to be sustainable for both sexes in order to be worn by anyone across the gender spectrum. So you keep his hoodie. <laughs> it's yours now. Unisex clothing is frequently described as gender inclusive. So guy, lady, anything that falls in between there or even outside of there, you good, you can wear it. I love all y'all. Upcycled or repurposing old, disused, broken, and unloved items into something that provides value again. It minimizes the amount of discarded materials sent to landfills. It reduces the need for production that uses new or raw materials. It is better for the planet and it reduces air pollution, water pollution, and greenhouse gas emissions. It helps to support small local businesses so upcycled and recycled you can kind of whoop de whoop with that okay utility casual clothing that was originally intended for a particular activity such as snowboarding or skiing or working <laughs> the infusion of practical use with the latest trends and incorporates a component of non-compromise on both 
fronts. So I typically think of those pants, cargo pants that are like high waisted and kind of flare out at the bottom, but they have like a gazillion pockets. Utility. Um, vacation. We was just talking about that, y'all. We need to go on a little vacation. Your cruise collection, resort wear, or vacation wardrobe is going to consist of the clothes that are more laid back, comfy, and breathable while still being chic. Especially if you are heading to a warm, tropical climate, your resort wear suitcase will hold loosely fitting, flowy garments. Vegan. Vegan clothing, like vegan food, is any garment made without any animal products. Some things may seem obvious, like leather and suede, which are directly made out of animals. <laughs> but vegan materials also exclude anything obtained through animal exploitation. So no animal byproducts were used during the entire process. Um, clothing avoids materials like silk from those silk worms, fur. <laughs> uh feathers and down so and a few other things but you get the point velour is a plush i did not know this what this was called i like i i have like track suits like this like when the when the cheetah girls came out oh honey i was velourd okay <laughs> i didn't know this what it was called though velour is a plush knitted fabric or textile similar to velvet it is usually made from cotton but can also be made from synthetic materials such as polyester Often it contains a percentage of elastane for comfort and durability. Velour is more durable than velvet while retaining many of the desirable properties of this luxurious fabric, which has led to its extensive use as a stage curtain material. That's what those are made out of. So you well, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. Next is velvet. <laughs> right there together, velour velvet. They're not the same, but you know they're similar. Velvet is a type of woven, woven tuft fabric in which the cut threads are evenly distributed with a short dense pile giving it a distinctive soft feel by extension the word velvety means smooth like velvet in the past velvet was typically made from silk velvet is made in in the pile weave of silk cotton or synthetic fibers and is characterized by a soft downy surface formed by clipped yarns so vintage <laughs> Vintage is commonly used to refer to all old, old styles of clothing. A generally accepted industry standard is that the item is made between 20 and 100 years ago. Um, if they are clearly reflect the styles and trends of an era from the past that they will represent, and it's easy to note, that is vintage. So I guess you can use vintage and retro somewhat interchangeably. I guess you can use vintage and retro somewhat interchangeably wedding a wedding is a celebration or ceremony of marriage a formal way to mark the union of two people formal wedding wear floor-length gowns tuxedos optional uh, black suits acceptable semi-formal or like below the knee dresses dress shirts slacks casual is more on the sundress side collar shirts and khakis listen if you like somebody so much you have to get the government involved you need therapy also invite me <laughs> I'm gonna eat all the food uh, Western Western wear is a category of men's and women's clothing which derives its unique style from the clothes worn in the 19th century Wild West Western shirts with a pearl snap um, fasteners and design accents blue jeans cowboy hats a leather belt and cowboy boots perhaps there is an embroidered design or even fringe I feel like it's pretty easy to spot Western wear if you're from the States right uh, winter winter clothes are used for protection against the particularly cold weather of winter often they have a good water resistance consists of multiple layers to protect and insulate against low temperatures winter clothes are especially outerwear like coats jackets hats scarves gloves mittens earmuffs but also warm underwear like long underwear union suits and socks wool Wool fabric is made from the natural fibers that form the fleece of animals such as sheep. Form from the fleece of animals such as sheep. There we go. My eyes are tripping. Goats, rabbits, camels, and more. This raw material is primarily made up of a carotene-based protein, which makes wool a remarkably elastic material. To make wool, producers harvest the hairs of animals and spin them into yarn. 
Woven, woven fabrics is produced through weaving two sets of yarn. Examples include button up shirts, trousers, jeans, denim jackets. Contrary to knit fabrics, which is produced by interloping or knitting one set of yarn. So examples include leggings, t-shirts, sweaters, and underwear. I feel like if you're looking for something that's woven like you're Y2K, the name Y2K referring to the year 2000, so the turn of the century, when fashion that provides nostalgic notes from the late 90s to early 2000s pop culture, wide leg jeans, shiny jackets, baby tees, velour tracksuits, cheetah girls, are just a few of the iconic pieces. Y2K fashion is a subset, I am just sneezing up a storm today, y'all, sorry. Um, just a few of the iconic pieces, Y2K fashion is a subset of vintage fashion, specifically focusing on the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, vintage fashion, on the other hand, encompasses clothing and styles from uh, various past eras. Y2K fashion is distinctive for its turn of the century charm. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I have to go because I, I need to take some allergy medicine. I'm sneezing so bad. I love you guys and I will see you on the next video. But I gotta find my medicine right now. <laughs>